Hello guys, welcome to my channel. Today in this video, I'm going to show you how to fix this error. That is, no man's sky has encountered an error and will now shut down. And if you are receiving these kind of crash IDs, then please follow the steps shown in this video. Now, the first step is to verify the game file. Now, to verify the game file, make a right click on the game, select properties, go to install files tab, and then click on verify integrity of game files. Once the verification is 100% complete, launch the game and then check still not working. Set full screen to false in graphics settings. Now for this, make a right click on the game, select manage, click on browse local files, open binaries folder, settings folder. Here you can see graphics settings, make a right click, open with notepad. And over here, if full screen is set to true, you can type in false and then go to file, click on save and then launch the game. Still not working. The next step is to rename or delete the graphic uh, graphics settings file. Now for this, this time, uh, you can either rename it or you can delete it. When you do so, all the saved settings will be lost. So you can rename it or if you want, you can delete it and then you can launch the game and then check. Still not working. The next step is to stop the audio service before launching the game. So type in services in Windows search box and then click on services. Now find Windows audio in the list. Here you can see Windows audio. Make a right click on Windows audio and then click on stop. And after you hit stop, launch the game. And as soon as the game is, you are able to launch the game, you can start it. So let me stop it now. As soon as the game is running, now you can make a right click and then you can start Windows Audio and then you can check. So let me close the game for now. Now still not working. Uh, the next step is to delete everything in this NVIDIA folder. Now for this, you can go to File Explorer, go to this PC, open C drive. Now open program data. If you don't see program data at the top, click on View, select Show, put a check on Hidden Items and then open program data folder. Now find NVIDIA folder and then op open NGX folder, models folder. Now delete the content of this folder. You can control A, make a right click, control A and then make a right click, delete it. Now you can launch the game and then check. Still not working. The next step is to rename or delete slpcl.dll file. Now for this, go to Steam, make a right click on the game, select manage, click on browse local files and then open binaries and then find SL here you can see in my case I have already renamed it so in your case this will be like this so if you see this slpcl.dl make a right click and then you can rename it now once you rename it now you can launch the game and then check still not working the next step is to disable steam cloud and rename the save game files when you rename the save game files all the save game progress will be lost you have to start everything from scratch. So to disable Steam Cloud, uh, you can make a right click on the game, go to properties, and then you can turn off the option. If this is on, you can turn it off and then go to the game and uh, go to the save game location. Now this PC, C drive, users folder, your username folder, app data. If you don't see app data at the top, click on view, select show, put a check on hidden items, open app data folder, roaming folder, open hello games folder. Here you can see this NMS folder. This has the save game files. So go back. You can rename this folder. First of all, create a backup. You can copy this, paste it to the desktop. Once you have a backup created, now you can rename it or you can even delete it. Don't delete it, just rename it. Rename this save game files. You have to start everything from scratch. Once you are able to launch the game, if you want, you can enable the Steam Cloud and you can put the save game files back if you want. Now, the next step is to close or uninstall these application. Now, if you are running FPS monitor, close it. OBS, Overwolf, Medal. So, if closing does not help, you can uninstall these application. So, just go to um, apps, like go to settings, apps, and find install apps and find the find these application in the list 
once you find the game, you have to uninstall these applications. If you have FPS, Overwolf, Medal, Bonzo, Nahimic, once you uninstall it, restart you can get it. And after the system restart, make sure if you have the remaining uh, application folder, then you can remove it and then launch the game. Next step is to run the game from the game installation folder. Now for this, make a right click on the game, select manage, click on browse local files and then binaries. You can make a double click over here, launch the game and then check. If that does not work, make a right click, go to properties, go to this tab, put a check on the box which says run this program as an administrator, hit apply, click on OK, make a double click, launch the game. Still not working in that case this time. Now, if, uh, if this is checked over here, you can uncheck this box, hit apply, click on OK, launch the game and then check. If it is already unchecked, in that case, you can put a check over here, select Windows 8, hit apply, click on OK, launch the game and then check. You can also try disable full screen optimization, hit apply, click on OK, launch the game. Still not working, change of high DPI settings, put a check over here and then click on OK, apply, OK, launch the game and then check. Still not working, you can put a check over here, overwrite, hit up, click on OK, hit apply, click on OK, launch the game and then check. Now, now when you, when you put a check on all these boxes, still not working in that case you can uncheck these boxes uncheck these boxes so first of all try to put a check and then check if that does not work you can uncheck these boxes hit apply click on ok follow the next step now the next step is to perform a clean installation of your graphics card driver so if you have nvidia card go to nvidia website if you have amd card go to amd website i'm showing for nvidia select your graphic card over here make sure that you select your graphic card your operating system then click on star search at the very top you will see scroll down and at the very top you will see the latest graphic card driver click on get download and then you can click, click on download now and then once the download is complete run the exe file click on yes to allow and then click on ok click on agree and continue select custom option over here click on next and then put a check on the box which says perform a clean installation and then click on next after the clean installation restart your computer and then you can check AMD card users uninstall the current graphic card driver, restart your computer and then you can go to the AMD website, select your graphic card from the list, make sure that you select your graphic card over here and I don't have AMD graphic card, this is just an example, select your graphic card, if you have Windows 11, select Windows 11, if you have Windows 10, click on Windows 10 and install the latest, click on download, run the exe file and then restart your computer and then check. Next step is to run the game on dedicated graphic card. Now for this type in graphics settings in Windows search box, click on graphics settings and then click on add desktop app. Go to the game installation folder, select the game exe file, click on add. Once the game is added over here, now click on the game and over here select high performance and then launch the game. Desktop users uh, connect the display cable or SDMI cable to the graf dedicated graphic card slots. Now, if you are using any third-party antivirus like Avast, Norton, Bitdefender, McAfee, whichever antivirus program you have, allow the game exe file to your antivirus program. If you are using Windows Security, open Windows Settings, Privacy and Security, Windows Security, and then click on Virus and Threat Protection. Scroll down at the bottom, you will see Manage Ransomware Protection. Click on Allow an App through Control Folder Access. Click on Yes to Allow. Add an Allowed App, Browse All Apps, go to the Game Installation Folder, select the Game exe file, click on Open. Now you can launch the game. Do the same thing if you have any third party antivirus. Try DX11 or DX12 in the launch option. So you can go to Steam, make a right click on the game, select properties in the launch option, type in dash DX11, and then you can close this, launch the game, and then check. If that does not work, you can even try dash DX12, launch the game, and then check. Still not working, remove this, follow the next step. Now, the next step is to install Visual C file. For this, you can go to Microsoft website. So search in Google and then go to Microsoft website, go to the official website. And here you can see Visual Studio files. You have to download this x86 and x64. You run this exe file. Now, if you see the repair option, click on repair. If you see the install button, hit install. Download this x64 file as well and then run this exe file. Again, if you see repair option, click on repair. If you see the install button, hit install and let the installation complete. Once done, close this, restart again there. And after the system restart, launch the game. Still not working. The next step is to uninstall this OpenCL, OpenGL, Vulkan pack. Now for this, you can open Windows settings, go to apps, and then go to install apps. And then find this. If you have this installed here, you can see OpenCL, OpenGL, Vulkan pack. 
click on this three dot click on uninstall uninstall once the uninstall is done restart your computer and after the system restart launch the game and then check now once you're done playing the game if you need this file you can always install it from the microsoft website the link is provided in the video description you can go to microsoft website here you can see download option you can hit download and then you can run this exe file and this will open microsoft store and then you can install it if you want you can install it later on now the next step is to perform clean boot now for this type in system configuration in windows search box click on system configuration go to the services tab put a check on the box which says hide all microsoft services and then click on disable all in my case i already did it that's why it's grayed out in your case this would be highlighted so make sure you put a check on hide all microsoft services first and then click on disable all and then hit apply click on ok you will see a restart option restart you can be run and then launch the game next step is to update windows to the latest version so go to windows update click on check for update once all the updates are installed over here then restart your computer and after the system restart you can launch the game still not working the next step is to disable overlay so you can go to steam make a right click on the game select properties turn off the option which says enable the steam overlay while in game if this is on turn it off if you have any other overlay application running like discord running you can go to discord settings turn off overlay if you have nvidia app running you can go to nvidia app settings and then turn off this nvidia overlay and do not overclock if you have overclocked you can set the overclocking to default and then close all the overclocking application like msi afterburner revert tuner uh, all close all the over, overclocking application if you have any third party services running you can close it now Unplug all the external devices which you're not using. So if you have hotas, wheel, pedals, any kind of USB adapter connected, disconnect it. Disconnect extra controller connected to the computer. Disconnect multiple monitor. Try launching the game on single monitor. If you have undervolted, you can remove the undervolt and then check. Next step is to try power saver mode. Now for this, type in control panel in Windows search box. Go to control panel. Go to hardware and sound. And then click on power options. Now in my case, I have only balanced. In your case, if you see this, uh, power saver you can select power saver and then you can launch the game you can even go for balanced and high performance but first of all try power saver first now the next step is to update the bios so go to your system manufacturer website select your model number and then update the bios in case of laptop make sure battery is more than 10 percent and the ac adapter is connected to the computer when you update the system bios next step is to skip this step if you're not able to launch the game but if you are able to launch the game turn off dlss try window mode lower down video settings if that does not work, reset the graphics settings to default and then you can launch the game. Now, once you launch the game, uh, you can go to options, go to options and then go to display and graphics. Scroll down here. You can see entire license. Now, if this is set to DLS, you can turn this off. Now, this has worked for many pl players, so it might work for you. So here you can see I turned it off. Now, after you turn it off, apply, and then you can check. Still not working, then try. You can just select bordered over here and then lower down resolution. And graphics quality, if this is set to like uh, uh, enhanced, you can set it to high. You can even go for standard. So set it to standard and then hit apply and then restart and then you can check still not working in that case uh, you can go to options once again go to display and graphics you can reset the graphics settings so click on reset to default click on yes and then restart your computer uh, restart the game and then you can check Now, the last step is to uninstall and reinstall the game to different drives. So if nothing is working, you can make a right click on the game, manage, uninstall. After the uninstall, go to the game installation folder, delete the game folder, restart your computer, and then install the game to C drive. So if the game is installed to different drive, like D drive or E drive, try to install the game to C drive. If the game is already installed to C drive, try installing the game to another SSD and then check. So one of the steps shown in this video should help you to fix this error this type of crash id so that'll be all thank you so much for your time and please like this video and subscribe to my channel